Welcome back to South Coast Kickball. We have a six inning scrimmage playing for you guys, so buckle up. It's going to be a long one. Kurt's going to be pitching for both teams. And leading off with Team Black is going to be Matt Rita, playing first base, number four. And a nice play by Scott over there at second base to get the first out of the inning. Scott making an over the head catch. Kind of like a wide receiver in football. A nice play by Scott over there at second. Next, we got Jim. He's up. And he's going to kick a ground rule double to start this in and off. It barely bounced in, it hits anywhere inside that little hole there, it bounces back out, it's considered a ground rule double, next up is Rampage, he's playing second base with Black, and he kicks it to his left, Dave's right, bounces off the wall right into Dave's hands, for out number two. Nice play by Dave, nice kick by James too, because Dave was playing his position. Next we got uh, Jojo, she's number 88 and playing right field, she's on the at ball one, so the count is one and up. Every week, JoJo's one of those players that shows up and she gets better. And the pitch is right down the middle by Kurt. She's going to kick it. Grounded to Brian. Brian's going to give it to Kurt. That's going to do it for the top of the first. As Kurt gets out of it with five pitches and no run scored. Welcome back to the bottom of the first as Team Red gets ready to kick. We got Brian Rosen in the lead now for Team Red. He's number 20, so he's playing first base. And right kick right into Rampage's hands. Nice catch out there by Rampage. As Brian is out for out number one. Next up, we got Scott Francis. He's going to be kicking for Team Red. He's number two, playing second base. And he's going to kick to Rita, and Rita's not going to be in time at current. Rita might have been in time, but Kurt did not make the catch. So there was one man on with one out, the bottom of the first. Scott's playing with Kurt over there at first. Kurt needs to not make any dumb throws or any dumb decisions and just, just worry about pitching the ball. Next, we got Dave. He's playing third base. He's number one for Team Red. And he's going to kick it. And Rampage's going to make another play out there, similar to the play with BJ, except he had to make, take a couple steps in. And, Nice play by Rampage out there. As he's playing second base, but he's playing more like a center field. And good play. So there's two down. Bottom of the first. Corey Alfonso's making his debut with Southwest Football. That's why he doesn't have a jersey, folks. He's going to kick it off the wall. And Chris is going to make a nice catch as a catcher. So that is three outs. And Kurt gets out of the inning with only four pitches. And he's going to head to the top of the second in just a few. Nothing, nothing. Interested in playing? Then hit up South Coast Kickball. Info's on the screen, everyone is welcome, and the first time's free. So hit us up on one of our social medias. Welcome back to the top of the second as Team Black gets ready to kick. We got Jaden Franco leading off for Team Black. He's number nine, he's playing left field, and he's gonna kick off of Brian's hands. Brian's gonna make the dive, can't make the catch. He's gonna hold Jaden to a single over there at first. So the first battle for Team Black gets on. Tough play for Brian. Nice way to stop it because when Shannon gets on, he can run. Next is Chris Rosanina. He's number seven. He's playing catch. He had that great catch. He had the end of the first on Corey. So. And he looks at a perfect pitch right down the middle from Curry. So the count is 0-1. And here's the pitch from Curry. And Chris is going to kick a nice line drive off the wall. It's going to land between Scott and Ralph. And Ralph's going to tap it in, and Scott's going to grab the ball, and Jaden's going to slide into second. So now, with the first two pitch, first three pitches of the top of the second, we got runners at second and first. As Team Black is on pace to make a rally with the runner in strong position. Next up, we got Rita. He's back up. He's 0 for 1. He had a fly out in the first inning. He's going to kick in. Right into the new guy, Corey, and it's going to go by him. It's going to Ralph. He's going to get it. He's going to throw it into Davis. and bounce off Davis' hands. Go to Kurt. Jaden is going to score easily. So just like that, with no outs on the top of the second, Team Black is leading one up. Next up is going to be June. He's one for one with the ground rule double. And again, Black is threatening Team Red with the uh, two runners in scoring position in the second and third. June's going to look at the first pitch, so it's going to be a ball. 
And Curtis already thrown the same amount of pitches as he did in the first inning to get three outs. He has no outs here. And another pitch outside, but June's going to kick it. Dave's going to make the catch. He's going to look back, Chris. So there's one out, top of the second. Uh, run is at second and third. But Rampage coming up next. Rampage is always a threat at the plate. Even though he's 0 for 1 on the night so far with a fly out. He's had two great catches so far in the first inning. And, and the pitch on Kurt. And Rampage's going to kick. It's going to go over the head of Scotty. Scotty looked like he jumped a little too early. Ralphie's going to swat him. And Chris is going to score. Reed is going to score. So it is now 3 0 with one out. Top of the second. And Rampage with a long single. And. Team Black is still rallying. We got JoJo. She's coming up next. She was 0 for 1. She ended the first inning with a ground out. And here comes the pitch from Kurt. And she's going to kick. And it's going to go bounce in front of Scott. Scott just going to get Rampage out for the force out at second. To end the inning. So, good rally by Team Black. They're up 3 to nothing. Chris, 13 pitches in. It was actually a double play, folks. Sorry about that. So as we head to the bottom of the second, it is 3-0 Team Black. Next up for Team Red is JoJo. He's number 44. He's playing catch. Thanks for the support. South Coast Kickball. Follow us on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook. Do what he said. So the count is 1-0 oh, as CJ looked at the first pitch for a ball. And Kurt with the pitch. He right down there. CJ's going to kick it. It's going to bounce off the wall. It's going to be foul ball. So CJ's going to have another chance to kick. So the count is 1-1. One and one. It's a foul ball as it hit the wall before the third base. CJ, he, he probably has the best eye in the league. He takes more walks and... Looks at more balls than anybody here, and he, he's a new player. He's, he's impressing us over here at South Coast Kickball. The pitch is going to be a strike, so the count is one and two. But CJ is showing his patience again, and the pitch from Kurt, which looks like it'll be a strike. He's going to kick. He's going to bounce off the wall. Almost the same kick, and Chris makes another play as the catcher on a foul ball. And those plays are very rare at catcher, and Chris has made two in the same amount of innings. So, one down. Team Red's up again, and uh, Ralphie Mendonca's up. He's number 17, he's playing right there, as he looks at ball one for Kurt. So the count's 1-0. Kurt really just needs to settle down and just throw pitches that are strikes over the plate. Remember, you gotta hit over the plate or the blue strike for it to be a strike. And Ralphie's gonna kick it with his left foot. It could have resembled a bunt, but I don't think it was a bunt. He kind of swung out his leg, so Ralphie's gonna get on with uh, one out here in the bottom of the second. Nice little single from Ralphie. And the hustle play getting down the line. He pretty much had a foot race with Chris first. Next up is Brian Rosen. And he's 0 for 1 with a fly out of him. And Brian's on a kick, a ground rule double. And just like that, Team Red is threatening to score against Team Black as they have runners in scoring positions. As they have a guy at second and third. One out. And Scott Franks is up next. Scott's 1 for 1 with a single. And he's always a threat at the plate. So anything could happen here for uh, Team Red. Nice kick by BJ over there to get that ground on the double. So there's one out. Scott's up. And the pitch from Kirk. And Scott's going to kick it. And it's in a blue. Right in front of J uh, June. And Ralphie's going to score easily. Three to fake to throw. Scott almost ran. So it is three to one. Team Black still. But one out. And we got runners at first and second. With Dave Mendes up. He's 0 for 1 on the day with a fly out so far. Nice hit by Scott. One down. And here's the pitch from Kurt. He'll be outside, but Dave's gonna kick it. And he blasts it and it goes off the sail and right into Rita's hands for the second out of the inning. I think Dave should have been a little more patient on that. Maybe let that one pass and try to get a better pitch from Kurt as he gets underneath it. It's usually what happens when a kicker gets underneath it. Hits a sail and it's an easy play for the infield. So there's two outs, scores three to one. Corey's dancing. I'm glad he's having a good time on his first play. first day of South Coast hit ball. He looks at ball one. So the count is one and zero. Oh. Pitch from Kurt can be that's right. Corey's on the kick off the sailings and it bounces in front of Chris. And he's gonna get on. So Corey gets his first kick in South Coast kick ball history with uh, an infield sailing kick and bases are loaded with two outs. 
And CJ's gonna be up. CJ is 0 for 1. He had that foul out where Chris made that great play over there at catcher, so. And just typical CJ fashion. He's gonna take ball one as he looks at everything. It's a skill I wish more people in South Coast Football had. He's very patient. But refreshing to see actually. And he's gonna look at ball two. So with base is loaded, Kurt is down 2-0. Or he could just sit and look at three pitches before he has to kick. And it's Kurt spinning the ball, taking from him. And here's the pitch. And Corey's going to kick it. It's going to bounce off the ceiling. BJ's going to run around Chris. He's going to score easily. June and Chris can't make the play. So it is now 3-2. to two. Team Black, two outs in the bottom of the second. And CJ being that patient kicker and a good, excellent infield kicker. He easily gets the first base. And with his first stop here of the night, Ralphie's up again. He's one for one with a single that let off this inning, actually. And he scored, so he has a run for it. All right to June. And June's going to make the easy force out on Corey to end the rally, but 19 pitches in. Kurt finally gets the third out. Gets out of the bases loaded, Jim. So we're heading to the top of the third. Three to two, Team Black. It seemed like we were gonna have ourselves a game. It looked like uh, Team Black could have ran away with the last inning, but we got ourselves a ball game, folks. Leading off with Team Black is Jaden Franco. He's one for one with one run scored. And here's the pitch from Kurt. It's right down the middle. Good pitch by Kurt. Jaden's going to kick it right over the head of Brian off the glass on the right side. It's going to bounce in for a single. Good kick by Jaden. And if you can kick balls like that, you're going to get on base every single time here in South Coast football. So you got a runner at first, no outs. Chris is up. He's one for one with a single and one run scored. And he's going to look at the first pitch from Kurt, and it's going to be a ball. So between the first two innings and now, Kurt is at 34 pitches. That's a lot of pitches for a pitch if you really think about it. So Kurt's wiping the sweat from his brow, spinning the ball. He's getting it. And he pitches to Chris. And Chris is going to kick it to BJ. BJ didn't stick his leg out. Wow. Unfortunate play for BJ and Team Red over there. As he just stuck his leg out to try to stop the ball. And it bounced off his leg and went into the ground with double. You don't see plays like that happen too often. Chris got lucky on that, so Team Black with no outs again to start an inning. Has a runner at second and third. And Reed is up. He's one for two with a fly out and a double and one run scored. And he's going to kick the first pitch. It's going to go by Dave at third. Jaden's going to score easily. And sometimes with Jaden, man, lost for words. I don't understand that. It looked like he might not even touch on play. Ralphie gets that in pretty fast. Chris doesn't even test it, so he stays at second. So you got Reader at first and second. Uh, four to two, no outs, here on top of the third. And we go to replay of Jaden. And from that angle, it looks like he might have missed the plate. Maybe he came down with it on his lower back. Uh, we got the side angle, so we're going to look at this one. And yeah, he definitely hits it with his lower back. Jaden, they call him the teenage dirtbag for a reason. June, he's up. He's one for two with a ground rule double in the final. And he's in a bunt. To load the bases, so there's no outs. Bases loaded, four to two. And we got Rampage up. Rampage is one for two with a fly out, a single, and two RBIs already. And he's in a kick. He's in a goal near Kurt. Scotty can't handle it. Chris is in a score. He's in a throw it at June. We miss June. June's in a go to third. Reed is in a score reason. So it is now six to two. Team Black here in the top of the third. No outs. And if Team Red doesn't make a play sooner than later, they have a very good chance of being mercy this inning. And on that throw, every runner advanced. Scotty should have just held on to the ball. They had runners at first and second instead of second and third. Next we got JoJo. She's up. She's 0 for 2 with two ground outs. She's going to look at ball one. So the count is 1 and 0. Any play in the infield, you got to be careful because June will tag up and score. And it's going to be a bloop. And right, per exactly what I just talked about one second ago. June's going to tag up from third. So JoJo's going to be out, but she's going to get the RBI. So it is now 7 2, Team Black. 1 out. As Team Red finally gets the out they were looking for. Nice catch by uh, Brian uh, to go to his his right, your left. Bobble the catch, but caught it. Jaden Franco, he's up again. He's 2 for 2 with two singles and two runs scored. And he's going to kick over the head this time. 
on Dave's side, you go to Corey, Rampage is in a score. He's going to throw to Jaden. Jaden's going to miss, but this should be Mercy Rule as they were up 3-2 to two to South this inning, and now it is 8-2. to two. So the inning is over. As Team Red gets Mercy Rule, no team can score more than five runs in one inning unless the fifth or plus run is scored off a home run. So the score is 8-2, to two, and I was saying last inning that we might have ourselves a game. We might not have ourselves a game now, folks. This game could be out of the reach. And I don't think Team Red realizes, or Team Black realizes, that it's a mercy rule. So we're going to head to the, the bottom of the third. Team Black is up 8-2 to two, as Team Red has a mile to come. We're back at the bottom of the third. Leading off a of team right is going to be Scott Francis. He's two for two. And we blast the ball, and that's going to be a home run. It looks like it hit the blue line, which there would be a blue line if it weren't wrapped all the way around and then going to goal post. I think Black thinks it's not a home run, but that's going to be a home run for sure. And Scott Francis blasts his second home run of March and almost hits the GoPro there, folks. And it's a nice little kick by Scott. And, you know, that's uh, chipping away like Team Red needs to as it down 8-3 to three in the bottom of the third. No outs. Coming up after Scott is Dave. He's 0 for 2 with two flyouts. And pitching Curtin, he's going to kick on the first one. And that's in a bounce between June and Jaden. And Dave's going to be in there for a single. So maybe uh, Team Red can get something going here with no outs in the bottom of the third. Down five. Corey in his first game for South Coast Kickball. He's going to be uh, kicking for Team Red. I'm just coming over here and say, he's, uh, one for two. this is what we do. We hit home runs. We're not having a great game, but we do this, you know, as you can see, as you can see, we're having a great time over here. But Team Red's down right now, but it's comeback season only, baby. Scotty's saying it's comeback season, so Corey's up in the count, one nothing. Nice nice kick by uh, Scott on there. And it's in the bounce, and June's gonna make the catch. Dave's gonna be caught slapping on second base. And that's a rare double play for Dave, as it's two down, and Team Black's like walking off the field, like that was three outs, but it's only two, folks. So coming up for Team Red is going to be CJ. He's one for two with a fly out and a single. And uh, he likes to make his cut work, so. And so here's the pitch from Kurt. And CJ's going to look at ball one like he always does. So the count's one and oh. Kurt's getting ready to pitch. Another pitch from Kurt. And CJ's going to kick it, and it's going to be a foul ball. The count's going to be one and one. And Kurt's already up to 25 pitches for Team Black right now. The count one and one. And so, it's Kurt. He's in the pitch. And here comes the pitch to CJ. It's going to be a strike if he lets it go. And he bounces off the ceiling. CJ's in a run. And he's not going to make it in time. As I don't think his foot was on the base. It was very close. Most of the time, it's uh, safe goes to the runner. A tie goes to the runner, actually. But it looks like uh, CJ's foot wasn't on the base. And so there's three outs, bottom of the third. Team Black up 5-3. to three. Interested in playing? Then hit up South Coast Kickball. Info is on the screen. Everyone is welcome. And the first time is free. So hit us up on one of our social medias. We are back for the top of the fourth. Chris Rosanina is in the lead off for Team Black. He's two for two. The single on the ground with double and one run scored. And the pitch from Kurt. He's going to kick on the first one. It's going to bounce to Scotty. And Kurt is not going to make the catch. So Chris is going to go three for three with another single. Kurt just can't seem to, uh, I don't know if too many balls have been getting thrown back to him, but the issue with him with the ball, I think he's starting to be afraid of the ball a little bit, which is unfortunate. Something they got to work on with Kurt. Get his confidence up. Uh, up next is Rita. He's two for three with a fly out, a double, a single, two RBIs, and that's in a bounce between Ralphie and Scott. So, again, Team Black getting their first two runners on base ever since the first inning. Well, since the second inning, actually. 
And they're just always in a threat to score. Kurt is up to 24 pitches right now in the fourth inning. So we're going to June. He's up next. He's two for three. And Scotty's going to make a nice play over there. He's going to keep Chris at second. So there's one down here on the top of the fourth. And now Team Red desperately needed. Rampage is going to be up next for Team Black. He's two for three. Four RBIs in one run. So he's having himself a hell of a kicking game right now. And that's going to bounce off the wall to Scotty. And Scotty's going to get Reader out at second for the force. So now there is two outs with runners at the corners. And JoJo coming up to kick. JoJo, she's, uh, she's 0 for 3 so far with one RBI, though. JoJo is always a threat at the plate. And nice play by Scott to get the, the runner out over there at second. So here's the pitch from Kurt. Big play right now for Team Red. They need an out desperately. And she's going to kick it. Bounce off Kurt's hand. And, whoa, that, it looks like Scotty's going to make the catch, but it looked like three Team Red members had their hands on the ball. Kurt bounced it into uh, BJ's hands, and then BJ bounced it into Scott's hands, and, and Team Red gets out of this one unscathed. The run is on the corner. They strand two, so we're heading to the bottom of the fourth. Team Black's up 8-3. to three. We're back at the bottom of the fourth. Uh, Ralph, he's up. He is one for two with a single and a fielder's choice. And he's going to kick the first pitch. Nice kickoff for, for Ralphie. Off the wall, bounces behind James right into JoJo's hand. So Ralphie can only get a second, but that's a nice piece of kicking right there by Ralphie. So this might be the rally that Team Red needs. They haven't really got too many of the first guys on base besides Scott with the uh, leadoff from run last night. So next up is Brian Rosen. He's one for two with a fly out and a ground rule double and one run scored. As he looks at ball one, the count's one. Kurt's getting ready to pitch. And here's the pitch. Looks like it's a good one. BJ's on the kick. It's going to barely be foul over there at third. And I think Team Red might have got away with one. Might have been able to get Ralphie out at second. Or even Kurt, uh, Brian over there at first. But the count's one and one. And here's the pitch. Brian's going to kick it. It's going to bounce in front of Jaden. Jaden ain't going to get it there in time for second. So we got the first two runners on for Team Red. We got runners at second and first, runner in scoring position. And this is the type of inning that uh, Team Red desperately needs. Curtis hit 30 pitches now for Team, for team Black, so see how his arm's doing as he's a steady pitcher. Scotty's up again, and he's going to kick the ball. It's going to bounce off of Jaden's hands. And we're going to have bases loaded, as I don't think Ralphie wanted to test Rampage's legs over there. As Rampage hustled that ball in pretty fast from, from center field. He's technically playing second base, but he's playing more of a second uh, center field position. Nice, nice play by Jaden to keep it in front of him, and then Rampage heads up to run it in. So bases are loaded, no outs, but Dave might use. He's one for three with two fouls and a single. And that ball is rocketed. Rampage can't make the catch. Ralphie's going to score. Brian's going to score. So Team Black, uh, Team Red cuts the deficit to three. As they're down eight to five with no outs. Team Red really needs a mercy on the right hand They need to get as many runs as possible as they do. It seems like Team Black is just having their way. They're always getting on this. Corey's back up. He's one for three. Two fouls and a single. And he's going to look at ball one from Kurt. Got to keep Kurt's arm in question as he is the steady pitcher for both teams. And here's the pitch, second pitch. It's going to be ball two. So Kurt's in jeopardy of... Walking Corey and loading the bases. That ball gets by Kurt, but Corey threw it, so Scotty can't go nowhere. If Chris would have been the one to throw the ball back to Kurt, Scotty wasn't able to run on that. So Corey's up 2 0. He's been watching the videos. He knows the rules. He's going to be patient here. I don't think he wants to get out. And Kurt's going to throw three balls in a row for the walk. So he loads the bases. So we got bases loaded. No outs. With TJ coming up. CJ's one for three on the way. And he's going to look at ball one. So Curtis on four balls in a row. And Kurt's pitch count just keeps racking up higher and higher with every batter. So, so the count's one and oh. CJ's waiting for the second pitch of the at-bat. Here's the pitch from Kurt. And CJ's going to kick it. It's going to be foul. So finally, after four straight balls, Kurt finally throws a strike with a foul ball. So the count's one and one. 
Still no outs, bases loaded. Here we go, Crouch on the pitch. And TJ's in a look. That ball too, so the count's two and one. Kurtz and Jeffy of walking in a run to keep the bases loaded. TJ's patient, he'll take the walk if he has to. This type of player he is, and that's gonna be a perfect pitch by Kurtz. So bounce off this side, it's gonna be a fair play. Scotty's gonna get, oh, he's gonna miss the throw to Scotty, so Scotty's gonna score. Bases are still loaded. It is now eight to six with no outs. And if Team Red can mercy rule Team Black this inning, they can tie it up at eight and go into the top of the fifth for the tie ball game as they were down by five runs. Ralphie's up. He's two for three for the second time this season. The first pitch from Kurt. It's going to be right down the middle to Ralphie. Ralphie's in the kick. He's going to get by June. No. June's going to make the play. He stopped in front of him. Dave's going to score. It's eight to seven. Corey's going to be out over there at third on the fourth play. Nice little play by June. It looked like it was going to get by him. So with one out, it's eight to seven. And one more run. This isn't a mercy rule. And it's going to be the pitch to Brian. He's going to look at ball one. Okay, so there's two runners on. If Brian can kick a home run, all three runs will count. So Team Black would be down by two as they were up by five before the sentence started. So the second pitch of the at-bat. And Brian's going to kick. And that's blasted. He has a chance. And we all oh! He hit a mercy rule home run. So every run counts after the mercy rule. That is a seven-run inning for Team Red as they were down five at the start of the bottom of the fourth, and now they are up two to end the fourth, and Curry is up to 42 pitches thrown for Team Black now, and Team Red is hyped as they should because they were, they were looking dead to rights, and now they got a two-run lead going into the fifth. That might have been one of the hottest kickballs I've ever seen in South Pacific ball where Rampage didn't make the play. We are back in the top of the fifth. Jaden Franco is in the leadoff. He's three for three. He's having himself a game. He's in a bunt. The ball's going to go to Curtis. He's going to keep running round in second. I don't think Kurt had possession. Scotty can't make the play. He make, misses the play again. Jaden's in the tag up. Go back to. He's on the third. Dave's in the midst of throwing Jaden. And Jaden's in the run. That's going to be an inside the pocket home run. Wow, folks. As <laughs> Dave told Jaden, he was number one. Team Black cuts the lead down to one now, so it is 10 to 9. Watch this play. Kurt didn't have possession, so he could keep running. And then they missed the throw. Missed the throw again. Jaden gets up. That's a different view of it. Yeah, Kurt definitely didn't have possession as he was rounding first. They missed the throw. I think Jaden needed to go back and tag as he already touched the base. And then Dave should have just held it, but he threw it at Jaden. He misses Jaden. Jaden's going to get inside the pocket run. He made it look easy, but it was not easy for him, folks. So with no outs, down by one, Chris Rosanine is up. He's three for three on the night. And Team Red's congratulating Jaden on his inside the pocket run. A little sarcastically in my opinion. But. And Chris is going to kick the ball to the right side. Brian's going to make the nice play at first base. So there's one out. And if you look at the pitch difference, Curtis thrown 42 pitches for Team Black and 29 pitches for Team Red. Do the math, folks. That's 71 pitches for Curtis in a kickball. And that's going to get by Brian. As Riga's gonna get in there, so. Rita's at first with one out. Not these replays. Every time the ball gets kicked by certain these kicks, it sounds like a cannon going off. Alright, so June's up, he's two for four. Nice pitch by Curry. He's gonna kick it. Scotty's gonna grab it. Get Rita out at second. Try for the double play. June a little too fast on there. So there's two outs. Nice play by Scotty. It seemed like in the first half of this game, Scotty couldn't really make those plays defensively. But now, since the home run and the, the rally in the fourth, he got the confidence to make those plays. Rampage is up. He's super four. The four RBI is still having himself out. And he's going to kick it. And Scott, just as I say, Scotty's making the plays. He bobbles the play. Luckily, it goes right to the hands of Kurt. So no one can advance any further. So with two outs, Team Black is still down one. But they got a runner in scoring position. And after Rampage, we got JoJo up. Jojo, she's over for Chris is in the call time. He's going to fix the play. We had an issue with that in the past game with Uncle Ralphie and Kurt. So, and Kurt gets ready to pitch. And here's the first pitch to Jojo. And Jojo's going to kick it. He's going to go to Dave. Easy play. In and over. Team Red gets out of the jam again. They leave two runners on. As we head to the bottom of the fifth, 
10 to 9, Team Red. Hopefully they can add some insurance runs. Try to sail up this game. Leading off the bottom of the fifth for Team Red is Scott Francis. He's four for four. He's having himself. Oh, and a little blue kick. As I was saying, he's going to go five for five. Wait, he could get run down. Chun's going to throw it. I don't think that was a smart move. Scott is going to get to second easily. And now Scott is playing games with him, hoping that June throws it. And will June throw it? He throws out a reader behind Scott, but Scott's already on the base. Nope. He hit Scott. What he called June as he rounded second first. <laughs> I don't think that was a smart play. You're going to put in Scotty in scoring position, so there's no outs, and Team Red desperately needs an insurance run. Dave was 2 for 4 that rocket kick, and he kicks it off the sailing right into Rita's hands. So there's one out, bottom of the fifth, runner in scoring position. Kurt is up to 44 pitches. You got to realize, this is a kickball game. Most guys kick on the first pitch, so the fact he's up to 44 pitches, and he's about almost, he's into his 30s on the other team. Corey calls time, he knows the rules. He's one for three in his debut. He's been watching a lot of videos. He's been studying up. I like the approach of Corey. And he's going to look at ball one. And I'm not saying Kurt is missing the play by a lot, but he's still won a lot of balls. And as we get ready for the second pitch of the at bat, I just think, here's the pitch. And Corey's in, it's right down the middle. Corey's going to kick it. Chris going to tap it at Kurt. going to go, oh, Kurt, you're going to make the play. But Corey's going to be safe, and Scotty's going to score all the way from second on a ball that was probably kicked five feet in front of home plate. As it just took too long to get the ball back, and Scotty's just so fast. He was already rounding third before Kurt had the ball, possession of the ball. As they get the insurance run, they may need. And so with one out, bottom of the fifth, Team Red's up to 11 and 9. And CJ's up again. He's two for, two for four, and he looks at another ball. Second pitch to CJ, and he's going to look at ball two. So Kurt is in jeopardy of walking another batter. And that's right, out of these 48 pitches that Kurt has thrown, CJ has probably seen about 13 of them himself. And here, he's going to kick it. It's going to get by June. And are oh, they going to get Corey out at second? As I think Corey might have a little knee issue as he's coming up hobbling at second base. Might have deterred him from getting there. It was very close. Can't really see because Rampage is in the way. Maybe the other view will give us a better view of it. And... Nice play by Rita. Just got him by half a step. So Uncle Ralph is up. He's two for four. He's going to kick that. That's going to be caught by Rampage. And Rampage is going to try to double up CJ. But CJ is, is already, the inning's already over. T right team's yelling him to go back. But that was a third out. So Curry threw 50 pitches and five innings for Team Black. That is a lot of pitching. Nice play by Rampage. The extra quick leg. Didn't really need to do but Scotty. Baiting in June there, and we head to the top of the six with Team Red up two as they were down by five at one point, eight to three in this game. We'll see what happens. Welcome back as we are at the top of the six. Jaden's leading off. He's four for four, and he's in an act like he bunt. That's his little signature move. He's going to look at strike one, so the count is one and one. Jaden, four for four, like I said. He had it inside the pot come on the list last at bat. He's having himself a hell of a game kicking. And he's going to kick in. It's going to bounce. Jaden is going to go five for five in this game. Most of the time, anybody goes five for five in the game, they're going to be the MVP of the game. But his team is down, and this, is, this has been a wild one. This might have been one of the most wild kickball games in a while for South Coast kickball. So Kurt is up to 35 pitches for Team Red. And here's the pitch. And Scott's going to catch the ball. Little Ken Griffey Jr.-esque. I won't say that it was completely a uh, Ken Griffey Jr. type catch, but he climbs the wall a little bit just to, to get there. So there's one out. Reed is up. He's four for five. And he's going to blast it, Dave. He's going to bounce off Dave James. So Dave's going to get him in. Jaden's going to be out at second for the force play. So Team Black is down to their last out as they are up by five on point and they are down by two and they are in jeopardy of losing this game. And Team Red mounting an epic comeback. That ball was blasted by Rita. But 
Lucky bounce. Dave gets the ball back quick and he gets it to Scott for the first play of second. So now we got June. He's two for five. He's gonna look at strike one. June is the last chance for, for Team Black. Here's the pitch from Kerr. Another strike, and that's gonna go right into the hands of Dave. Team Red has done it. They have completed the comeback. They win 11 to nine in a wild one. It looked like they were completely out of this game. Dead, it wasn't gonna happen for them. And with a comeback in the fourth inning, the first ever Mercy Rule home run gets them to win the game. Normally this is the point where we have an MVP of the game. I really can't call one. There was so many people that did so many good things. Like Jaden was five for five. Chris was four for five. Brian had the Mercy Rule home run. Team Black even had a Mercy Rule inning in the third. So we're just gonna go with South Coast Kickball Kickers. Balled out, played great. Keep watching South Coast Kickball. Hey, we're here for the post-game interview. You know how it goes. South Coast Kickball. If you're not here, you're a square, respectfully. Um, what I got to take out of today's experience, um, I think I was, well, I, I went two and one. I went two and one, I had a homer. I wasn't the MVP, play like <laughs> Dave's gonna come over here and end it, but I still love y'all. Yeah, I'm just the greatest man. You want to talk about wrestling around here? I'm the show stop. You know, show my. I don't know what he's doing. I haven't seen him do that one. Honestly. Interested in playing? Then hit up South Coast Kickball. Info's on the screen, everyone is welcome, and the first time's free. So hit us up on one of our social medias.